but what about our first two players, two very familiar names and faces for you? Let's welcome Big Robbo, Gary Robson, and the Dazzler, Daryl Fitton. Hi. Hello, Hello. gentlemen. Great to see you both. Always a pleasure. Always. And uh, I'm I'm not sure uh, what match you looked forward to most in this uh, format, guys, but this must be one of them you were looking forward to for sure. Oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely. We always have good games, me and Robbo. Always. Yeah. Oh, Looking definitely. Uh, it's a bit of to me. I've got Daryl tonight and Tony tomorrow, you know. I would like them spaced <laughs> out, but really looking forward to it. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, when we look at that, I look back at some great historical moments. I mean, matches at 17 years ago now, you two met at the World Darts Trophy in the Netherlands. A uh, couple of times at the Lakeside as well, the Windmill World Masters. The last meeting I could see in a, a ranking event was over in Jersey three years ago. Have you met competitively since then? No. No, I don't think so. No. So, no. so despite knowing each other so well, it, uh, it, it is a new thing for you in recent years. Yeah, we played that many times the first uh, 25 years, though, you know. so <laughs> <laughs> We played a lot about... against a lot of, um, in the exhibition tournaments and things like that. So we're always playing each other in them, but that's obviously totally different, isn't it? So absolutely, we still, we still want to win, but you know, so it's playing at home, Daryl. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that's what I keep saying. We go from the home of World Darts to just playing at home. But it's been great so far. Uh, you both seem to be enjoying it last night. If we look at the results, Gary, great win for you over Alan Norris to finish the evening. Yeah, yeah, I'd, um, I was quite good on the scoring and the the. The finish was going okay, you know, so very happy with that. And Daryl, you picked up a draw against Jim Williams, a really high quality match there as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, I, like I said, um, six four up, one in the last two legs. But Jim played brilliant last couple of legs, so I'm happy to get the point. But you know, obviously, could have been, could have been the win. So, but one of them things. Well, I'm not supposed to have favourite players, but I can't think of any two better to get things underway this evening. So we'll let you both get warmed up, guys. Good luck, Daz. Good luck, Thank Gary. You. That's all the best, Good luck, guys. Daz, man. Good luck, man. Yeah, two great players. Go head-to-head. Gary Robson, a former World Darts Trophy champion in the Netherlands, and Daryl, of course, a former BDO World Trophy champion, played at the Lakeside. This match, the best of 12 legs. So the first player to reach seven We'll pick up two points and a win, but of course we could be seeing a 6-6 draw. That is possible. There are 12 legs to be played. And in this match, it is Gary Robson that will have the darts following these practice darts. We'll let them get warmed up. Okay, ready when you are. Do you want three more, Daryl? Yes, please. Yeah, just my scoreboard, scoreboard wasn't working, but it's done now. So. Yeah, three more, Gary. Just settle into it, guys. A long night ahead for us all to enjoy here. It so is. much positive feedback coming from the Remote Darts League and we're looking forward to five more excellent matches here this evening. Ready all now. good, gentlemen? Yeah, ready. Brilliant. The first leg, it's Gary to throw first. Game on. Sixty. One Forty. 
Went too long. Sixty. Forty-three. Gary requires one hundred and fifty-three. One hundred and thirty-seven. Daryl requires one hundred and thirty-eight. Ninety-eight. Gary, you require sixteen. Sixteen and three. Yeah, game shot on the first leg to Gary Robson. Second leg is Daryl to throw first. Twenty-five. Fifty-five. Forty one, one hundred and forty system. Forty three. Sixty. One hundred and forty. Gary requires one hundred and six. Seventy-four. Daryl, you require one hundred and twelve. Forty-four. Gary, you require thirty-two. Twenty-eight. Daryl requires sixty-eight. Sorry about that. Sixty-eight and two. Yeah, game shot and the second leg to Daryl. Fit and clean finish there. Third leg, Gary to throw first. Ninety-seven. Fifty-nine. 
81. Eighty one. One hundred. Gary requires one hundred and sixty four. Ninety-six. Daryl requires one hundred and thirty-five. Uh, Ninety-nine. Well, Gary, you require sixty-eight. Sixty-eight and three. It's a bullseye game shot and the third leg to Gary Robson. Fourth leg, Daryl to throw first. Sixty. Sixty. Ah, oh, come on. Forty two. Eighty one. One hundred. Eighty three. One hundred. Daryl, you require 117. 25. Sorry, 35. 35 scored. Gary, you require 118. In three dots. Yeah, game shot. And the fourth leg to Gary Robson, a 118 finish. And fifth leg, it's Gary to throw first. 101. Fifty-five. Ninety-six. Eighty-four.
136. Hundred and forty. Forty. Forty six. Gary requires one hundred and twenty eight. Sixty. Ninety-six. Gary requires sixty-eight. Fifty-two. Daryl requires eighty. Forty. Gary requires sixteen. Yeah, and one. Game shot and the fifth leg to Gary Robson. Sixth leg it's Daryl to throw first. Twenty eight, sixty, six. One hundred and thirty nine. Ninety three. One hundred and eighty. First one of the evening goes to Gary Robson. Sixty. And Gary, you require thirty nine. I mean, hundred and forty. Gary requires twenty. Twenty and one. Game shot and the sixth leg to Gary Robson. Seventh leg, Gary to throw first. Game on. Fifty-nine. Forty-five. Oh, One hundred and thirty-four. Ninety. 
Fifty-eight. Gary, you require one hundred and sixty-seven. Fifty nine. One hundred and thirty four. Gary requires one hundred and eight. Seventy six. Daryl requires seventy one. Fifty-five. And Gary, you require thirty-two. In one. The game shot and the seventh leg to Gary Robson. Eighth leg is Daryl to throw first. Ninety-six. Sixty. Sixty. One hundred and forty. Sixty. Eighty-five. Arrow requires one hundred and forty-six. Ninety-four. Gary requires ninety four. Fifty four. Daryl requires fifty two.
52-3. Game shot and the eighth leg to Daryl Fitton. Ninth leg, Gary to throw first. One hundred and eighty. Second one eighty for Robbo. One thirty. Fifty nine. Um, yeah, 180. First 180 for Daryl. <laughs> 98. Fifty-five. Gary requires one hundred and sixty-four. One hundred and forty. Fifty-eight. Gary, you require twenty-four. Get in. One hundred. Gary, you require six. Six and two. Well done, game shot and the match. Yeah, six, Gary yeah, Robson. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, oh God. Kids, come in and see us. Uh, Daryl. Yes. That, that treble 20 that we're accustomed to seeing pretty much on the end of your arm just wasn't mm -hmm. there this evening, was it? Do you know what? I was going to change the board round because it looks a bit tatty and I thought, no, I'll leave it. It's, I don't want to start messing around. But um, <laughs> hopefully that was embarrassing. Embarrassing. I'm not, well, I'm not happy at all, but like... Gary took advantage. Yeah, you know, the, the only leg, the first leg of one, Gary should have won that. And then, you know, rubbish. Very poor. That. I'm sorry, Gaz. But no, we, 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 not being funny. I done the opposite, mate. I changed the treble and it's getting changed tomorrow. I didn't like it. But yeah. I think we were both waiting for each other to start. Yeah. Just getting see, more yeah. and more frustrated. My dads were, were close. I was getting really bad scores, but my dads were all around it. And yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit frustrating, but. You know what? What best of mates we've played over years, and I just didn't expect that to tell you the truth. No, 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 I think well. we brought each other down, and at the end of it, it was survival of the fittest. At the end, and that is the and, that is yeah. the quirk of this format as well, isn't it? Because you're you're the guys that are delivering the scores vocally, so you're expecting the other to be say 140, and when you're hearing 45 or 60, it's a I, I can actually but tell that the 60. tone of your voice. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sitting on in doubles and Dar Daryl's on 120s, 130s, and I'm, I'm expecting game shot. I'm not expecting 45 yeah. or 60. I'm expecting game shot, and he's probably thinking the same, you know. It's, yeah. it's just What's so what, hard. My it's dad's, if, well. if my dads were going in the treble first, I was quite quite good. But once these starts start missing a little bit, I start searching, and I'm all over the place, and... I've just got to um, I practice a little bit more. I'm not practicing, so I was, whose fault is it? Nobody's but my own. So, well, well, honest words from you, Darren. And across the five nights, the, 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 a bit of a, a, a drop stitch this evening because you've been playing well across the week, Gary. There were positives in there. A couple of one eighties, good finishes. The bull on that sixty eight to rescue that shot. The one one eight out. You've got to be feeling good going into tomorrow, where you'll be facing, as you say, Tony O'Shea. Yeah, but I shouldn't be having to go for a bull for 68. So I, I don't take that as a positive, to believe it or not. I'm, I'm annoyed at missing <laughs> the number or the treble. Um, 
But yeah, obviously I'm going to be bouncing for Tony tomorrow. There's going to be exactly the same much pressure, you know, my best two mates and daughters, Daryl and Tony, yeah, and I've got them back to back. Very disappointed for Daryl and for myself tonight. Okay, I've picked up the two points, but... Yeah, that's what happens, isn't it? Like you say, it's... We both want to put a show on, don't we, Dad? Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. We don't want to let each other down. No, <laughs> no. It's one of them things, it's, it happens. It's maybe I have to wait another 10 years before I have another game like that. So Still love you, mate. Right. Still love you. Hey, yeah. I always accentuate the positive. Daryl, tomorrow you take on Dean Winstanley, so chance to make amends. Well, yeah. They're all, all good players, aren't they? You know, this, you can never write any of the players off, you know what I mean? So... I, you know, I could should have beat Jim Williams this today, and he, he'd not lost. And then tomorrow, we're playing Dean, he's not won. You know, there's just as much pressure on that game than there was on the game last night and tonight. So, Absolutely. but Dean has played well, but he's been unlucky. So. He has, he has been unlucky. I tell you, we look forward to seeing you both tomorrow. Thanks. I know you're not feeling Richard, you well entertained done, us too much, but we enjoyed seeing yeah, you. Well done, Gary. Thank, thank you, Richard. Thank See you. you both tomorrow. And we continue here at the Remote Darts League. Our next matchup is the Warrior Wes Newton and Alan Chuck Norris.